She was a fighter, a scrapper, a grandmother, mother. She loved her family, despite what um, history tried to tell us. She, was, she did attend um, St. Mary's Indian School in Kenora, Ontario. I think she was about 13 or 14 at the time. It's heartbreaking to, hear, to, to know that possibly of her history and that when she told me about her hair getting cut by the nuns and that, and to see the tears in her eyes. And I remember her boating, going boating with her, fishing and that. She'd come and pick me up, put us in the boat, then we'd go down to Show Lake and that's is where the, the picture is. We were stopping by for a shore lunch. Those are the memories that I want to hold in my, when I remember my mom. But I also want to um, let the public know about her, her time in residential school. I want her voice to be heard. The news of the Almar graves broke out. Oh, this hit me really hard. And um, even though my mom has passed on, I still kind of um, want to write her as a way of reaching out to her for her to comfort me in that. Uh, it was a healing, my way of um, healing myself, reaching out to my mom for comfort. Mom, I can't hear your voice at the moment. I can't hear the softness of words that are comforting. Can't recall the softness of your face. How your hair used to curl in the hot summer days. Mom, I need to feel your presence. I'm feeling lost. I'm feeling angry, feeling a load of grief. Has the news of today of the 171 anomalies found at your former school deafened your presence to me? Possibly little ones, cousins, aunties, uncles. No, little one, I have not forgotten you. I am dancing with the relatives found grief for now but dance with us, for they have found them. They're not forgotten. Dance, little one, for they found them. <laughs>